When all the stars in the sky open a door on the ground, the chaos of the solar terms turns into pollution, causing harm to the human world. Seasonal masters have emerged. In the beginning of summer, the teacher flicks his fingers, and thunder strikes from the sky as punishment. During the Qingming festival, I kneel in front of the teacher's grave, my ancestors save me. Keywords of the novel Seasonal Master without pop-ups, download the complete collection of Seasonal Master TXT, and read the latest chapters of Seasonal Master. Chapter 1 Suddenly like a dream You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Suddenly like a dream on January 5th, 273 in the Northern New Calendar, it was Shaohan. Scorpio Island, Darong City. Su Heng sat at the dining table, focused on nibbling on the bread in his hand and remained silent. Father Su Hans Han sat across from him, legs crossed, leisurely reading the newspaper. From time to time, the sound of birds can be heard outside the window, and the cool breeze quietly beats against the curtains. In the simple and cozy cabin, it appears particularly peaceful. How did you think about it? Are you really planning to give up martial arts? Su Hans Han suddenly broke the calm. He still held the newspaper in his hand, his tone was very plain, as if he was just casually asking. Mmm. Su Hang nodded lightly and swallowed the bread in his mouth. I have opened up the six meridians of the eight extraordinary meridians, but cut off two meridians. The path of martial arts is destined to be lost to me. Can you take it back and use it even if it's broken? As long as your mind doesn't slide, there are always more ways than criminal law. Bah no, there will always be ways. Su Hans Han shook his newspaper and said rudely. Take it back. Su Hang shook his head repeatedly and said, since I was injured, I have connected more than ten times. Every time I connect, as long as I practice martial arts, it immediately breaks again. The meridians have long lost their original resilience and are hopeless. Dot. Su Hans Han remained silent for a moment before asking, So what are your plans for the next? Su Heng looked up at the sky and said, Starting from tomorrow, be a happy person. Stop, you still have to postpone such an important matter until tomorrow. You can be happy as a kuiner. Don't be so clever here and talk to me seriously, Su Hans Han interrupted. Su Heng smiled and said, What else can we do? Abandon martial arts and pursue civil studies, and take the civil examination. Maybe in the future, we can become a tactical counselor and provide you with advice on the battlefield. Forget it, with your brain, why don't you see if you have the opportunity to awaken a seasonal order and become a seasonal master? Su Hans Han said. A seasonalist. Su Hang was taken aback for a moment and said, It's impossible. I'm already sixteen years old this year. Even if I have the luck to awaken the season one day, I'll probably be an ordinary seasonal master. But then again. He suddenly lowered his voice and said, That a spoon in my mind seems to be not quite right lately. Stop it, stop talking. The walls have ears. Did you forget? Okay, let's not talk about that. Anyway, I can't take over the inheritance of your martial arts master. Although my mother is a seasonal master, this thing cannot be inherited. How about I stay at home and grow old in the future? Su Heng grabbed another piece of bread and stuffed it into his mouth, looking at Su Hans Han eagerly. I'm looking to beat you up. Su Hans Han immediately pulled down the newspaper, glared at it, and said helplessly, forget it, choose your own path. Anyway, don't mention your spoon to anyone. Don't worry, I'm known for being stubborn. Bah, my mouth is strict. I'm full and I'm going to school. Su Heng swallowed his last bite of bread, got up and picked up his backpack, ready to leave. At this moment, Su Hans Han completely put down the newspaper in his hand, glanced at the crumbs on the table, and frowned. You're full after only eating fifteen pounds of bread. I'm full, I ate a bit too much last night's snack, Su Heng said as he walked to the door, putting on his shoes. 
Don't harm me, kid. When your mother comes back and sees you so thin, she'll think it's because I treated you harshly. Su Hans Han said as he fumbled for a few coins from his pocket and threw them at the table. Take them and go to the school cafeteria to buy something to eat. I. Ding dong. Su Hung was about to speak when a crisp doorbell rang behind him. He was slightly stunned. Who is that in the early morning? Turning around and opening the door, a young man with an ordinary appearance and a tall and muscular figure appeared in front of me. Tang Ho. Why did you come? Su Hang looked at the person in shock. Tang Ho is his junior high school, and now he also attends the same school and class. Damn it, you're really here. Tang Ho's face was startled, and he immediately breathed a sigh of relief as he walked in. Su Hang, what's your situation lately? Every three to five years, I'm running to your old house. Didn't I stay overnight here again last night? Old. Old house. Su Hung was taken aback at the words, and suddenly his back of the head twitched. Then there was a buzzing sound. The ears were filled with sharp and piercing sounds, and the scene in front of me began to distort, feeling like a whirlwind. Until a faint musty smell suddenly hit the nose. The brain quickly recovered from the coma. My thoughts suddenly became clear, like waking up from a big dream. Shua. Su Heng suddenly turned back and looked inside the house. On the yellowed and dilapidated walls on all sides, the areas where the ash had fallen off were covered with mold. The furniture piled up in the corner was covered in spider silk. In the thick layer of dust on the floor, there are still messy shoe prints that I have stepped on. On the dining table not far away, there was also a build-up of dust, except for the spot where he had just sat, which left some traces of being wiped. And Lao Su, who had just sat in front of him reading the newspaper, didn't even exist. Everything suddenly turned into a dream. It's like this again. Su Hang took a deep breath and raised his hand to knead the bridge of his nose, his face full of fatigue. This is the third time in nearly a month that he has inexplicably run back to this old house. This has happened before, but it's not as frequent as this period. Every time in this old house, there are many illogical conflicts. For example, this time today, he didn't remember that Lao Su was no longer here, but he also remembered that he was indeed injured and broke his meridians, and decided not to pursue the path of martial arts anymore. Everything is chaotic and real. This situation seems to be very similar to the pollution caused by the Qingming Festival, commonly known as hitting ghosts. For this reason, he also installed a camera in the old house, and every time he wakes up, he checks the video, and there is always only himself in the picture. And theoretically speaking, Lao Su should not have died yet, should he, Su Hang, what's going on with you lately? Tang Ho had a hint of sadness on his face, as he had already noticed that Su Hang's recent state was not quite right. It's nothing, I just miss my dad a bit. Su Hang smiled and walked towards the restaurant again. I dreamt of him. He was sitting here reading the newspaper, and I had breakfast next to him. I still had bread, but he said I ate too little, afraid my mom would blame him for losing weight. And. Hey, look, there's really an old newspaper on this table. As he spoke, he picked up the newspaper hidden under the thick dust. Ding Ling. With a few crisp sounds, several coins were taken out from under the newspaper and dropped onto the tiled floor. Su Hang lowered his head and immediately froze in place, staring blankly at the rusty coins. Ah, Su Hang, it's about your father. Tang Ho sighed and spoke to comfort him. It's okay. Su Hang took a deep breath, shook his head, and didn't want to mention this matter too much. Go back to school. Don't be late for morning class today. Late. Tang Ho widened his eyes and said, Big brother, are you still thinking of being late? It's already noon, have you been absent from class all morning? Is it noon? Su Hang was a bit surprised that he had slept for so long. It seems you're really asleep, but it's okay. As long as you're okay, 
I called you a few times this morning and all the calls prompted me to shut down. I almost thought you had an accident too. Also had an accident. What does that mean? Su Hing took out his phone from his pocket and saw that it had run out of battery and automatically turned off. This morning, the school spread all over. Lin Ching died. I heard he died at his own home. I saw that you didn't come all morning, so I'm afraid you too. What? Lin Cheng is dead. Su Heng widened his eyes, and Lin Cheng was also his classmate, but their relationship was not harmonious. Unexpectedly. I remember they lived in the most secure community in our city, and I didn't expect to die in their own home. Tang Hojing said. Dong Dong Dong. Suddenly, there was another knocking on the door behind me. Su Hang and Tang Ho instinctively turned their heads to look. The door has not been closed since just now, and several men and women wearing long brown windbreakers have stood outside the door at some point. The middle dot aged man led by him was particularly eye dot catching, his tall figure almost completely blocking the light outside the door, and his sharp gaze was straight and fixed on Su Hang. Inspection Department Tang Ho exclaimed in surprise. In Darong City, brown windbreakers are a standard outfit for inspection agencies, but the key is that they will wear an identity medal on their chest, symbolizing their enforcement power. Su Hang The middle dot aged man had no expression on his face, and his hoarse voice came from his throat. You are suspected of murdering your school student Lin Cheng. Come back with us immediately for investigation. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Planting Spoils You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Planting Spoils, What? Tang Ho was startled and looked at Su Hang incredulously. I am suspected of robbing and killing Lin Cheng. Su Hang also looked surprised and looked at Tang Ho in confusion. But soon, he remembered something, frowning and his face gradually darkening. This scene is so familiar. Six years ago, Lao Su was also taken away by the inspection company in this old house. The charge is suspected of murdering his wife. Afterwards, the news throughout the city was reporting on this matter. Master Wu Dao Su Hans Han was found guilty of murdering his wife, sentenced to life imprisonment, and deprived of the right to be imprisoned. Even the location of his imprisonment was kept confidential. Su Hain was very clear that his mother had not died at all. On the night when his father was tortured away, his mother appeared in front of him, instructing him not to investigate the matter and to live a good life. Afterwards, he hurriedly left without any news. Su Hain cannot fail to investigate. Over the years, he has been trying to secretly investigate the truth of the past. But with numerous doubts, nothing can be found, and everything seems to be deliberately covered up. And now, is the old case happening again? Unnecessary charges suddenly fell on oneself, just like what happened to Lao Su back then. First my dad, now it's my turn again. Su Heng clenched his hands into fists and looked at the middle dot aged man. With a slight movement in his heart, if he were taken to the inspection office like this, he might be accused of murder for no reason like old Su did in the past, and his whereabouts will remain unknown. Don't try to resist arrest and escape, otherwise we have the right to convict and kill you on the spot. The middle dot aged man seemed to sense Su Hang's intention and slowly spoke out a warning. A fierce momentum loomed faintly and rolled towards him. Su Hang's pupils immediately contracted and he felt a tingling sensation on his scalp. The other party is not joking, and if they try to escape, this group of people will definitely kill. Those who can serve in the inspection department are at least the second stage warriors. I am just a high school student who has only connected the first stage of the six meridians. How could I escape from the sight of this group of people? Su Hang immediately dispelled his impulsive thoughts and nodded, saying, I can come with you, but I need to make a phone call first. I have the right not to give you this right, take it away. The middle dot aged man refused Su Hang's request without hesitation and waved his hand. 
several members of the inspection team immediately rushed in from outside the door, took out handcuffs, and walked quickly towards Su Heng. Su Heng did not resist and looked at Tang Ho, who was still in a daze, saying, Call and inform my senior sister. Ah! What? At this moment, Tang Ho realized and looked at Su Heng's hands being handcuffed. Finally, his face changed and he said, Wait a minute, are you going to arrest someone directly? Where is the evidence? Where is the arrest warrant? You. Bang. Before finishing his sentence, a member of the inspection team next to him suddenly punched and struck Tang Ho's chest with lightning speed. Tang Ho fell backwards in an instant and fell heavily to the ground, coughing up a mouthful of blood. His entire face lost its color and he couldn't even speak. Stop it, what are you doing? Su Heng shouted and forcefully broke free from the detention of two patrol officers, about to step forward to help. Bang! With a muffled sound, a black stick struck heavily on the back of his head. Accompanied by excruciating pain, a strong sense of dizziness swept across the sky, causing Su Heng to collapse to the ground, unconscious. Buzz. After an unknown amount of time, the piercing trembling sound once again echoed through the entire head. Su Heng woke up from his coma, with a splitting headache and something struggling to emerge from his head. He instinctively wanted to open his eyes and realized that he couldn't do it at all. The intense pain made him unable to resist opening his mouth and wanting to shout. His Adam's apple kept surging, but he couldn't make any sound. Whoosh! Suddenly, everything seemed to have been pressed the pause button. The trembling sound in my mind disappeared, the world became quiet, and the pain quickly receded like a tide. His consciousness unexpectedly entered his inner vision, seeing a spoon-shaped object in his mind that had just stopped trembling and began to burst into a brilliant white light. Is this the Big Dipper? Su Heng felt a great shock in his heart. Starting from a year ago, he discovered a secret in himself. While practicing martial arts to open up meridians, my consciousness was suddenly drawn to my mind and I saw a blurry object inside that resembled a spoon. At that moment it was just a fleeting glance. He thought it was an illusion, but since then, he has made a remarkable leap in martial arts. In the early stages of martial arts, it is necessary to cultivate various martial arts skills and open up the eight meridians of the body. Many martial arts skills that were previously difficult to master suddenly became self-taught after the appearance of the spoon, and after practicing a few times, one can firmly grasp them. In just two and a half years, he transformed from a mediocre two-pulse martial artist in his first year of high school to a martial arts genius who could connect the six meridians. Everyone in the school was surprised by his progress, but also thought that he inherited the talent of his martial arts master father. Only Su Heng himself knew that this was definitely related to the spoon in his head. He only mentioned this secret to the father in his dream. It wasn't until a few months ago, when he was injured and his two meridians were broken, that he began to feel the spoon in his mind as if it was about to move. That is indeed just a feeling. Since seeing that blurry spoon for the first time two years ago, no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't put his consciousness into his mind. If it weren't for the changes brought about by his martial arts talent, he would almost have thought that the spoon didn't exist, everything was just an illusion. And now, he finally looked inside his mind once again and saw the spoon again. Not only to see, but also to see very clearly, no longer blurry. This spoon is composed of seven nodes, each shining brightly, emitting a radiance that connects it together. At first glance, it does look like a spoon. But Su Heng was very clear that this thing was exactly the same as the illustration of the Big Dipper in the textbook. So, is the historical record incorrect? The Beidou, which disappeared hundreds of years ago, was not destroyed, but came to my mind. Su Heng suddenly lost his thought and then realized something was wrong. I am only 16 years old, and the time when the Big Dipper disappeared is far from matching. Buzz. At this moment, the Big Dipper trembled again. But this time its reaction was gentle, 
with a dazzling light flowing slowly like flowing water. Su Heng immediately felt a chill surge in his mind, rushing straight down his spine along the heavenly spirit cap, bypassing his coccyx, and then straight into his lower abdomen. In the sea of Dantian consciousness, layers of black mist began to appear, gradually condensing. Finally, the Beidou stopped trembling. The black mist in the sea of consciousness has also condensed into a cluster, and a sharp small angle has emerged, emitting piercing coldness throughout the body. Boom! At the next moment, Su Heng suddenly opened his eyes and woke up from his inner vision. The seasonal totem, was that just a seasonal totem? Did I awaken the seasonal totem? His heartbeat couldn't help but accelerate, and his breathing was slightly rapid. The first symbol of the awakening festival is the ability to visualize the appearance of a festival totem in the sea of consciousness. Twelve months, a total of twelve seasons. The newly awakened seasonal totem is black and foggy, with a pointed corner, and today it is, wake up. At this moment, a cold and hoarse voice interrupted Su Heng's thoughts. The sound was within reach, almost right in front of me. Su Heng suddenly looked up and saw a burly and tall figure sitting across from him, full of a sense of oppression. It was the middle-aged man who led the team to arrest him. Looking around, it was a dimly lit interrogation room with walls on all sides, no windows, and only a simple wooden door. I was sitting in front of an old wooden table, and the middle-aged man across from me furrowed his brows as he flipped through the documents. Yu Guang was glancing at him from the end of his eyes. What about Tang Ho? Su Heng gritted his teeth and asked. Recalling the violent behavior of the inspection department, I felt a wave of anger in my heart. Oh, he went home long ago. You suffered less damage than him, but you have been unconscious until now. Do you have the face to call yourself a warrior? The middle-aged man sneered coldly, his expression filled with sarcasm. Immediately, he grabbed a handful of photos from the folder and threw them onto the table. Look at what you've done yourself, quickly take the initiative to explain it. Su Heng's eyes widened slightly, and the photos were all captured from various angles of Lin Cheng, which can be said to be shocking. The whole body is covered in dense wounds, including the face, neck, chest, arms, and even fingers all the wounds seem to be cut with a small knife, each one neat and delicate, covering the entire body. There are also some photos that capture the details of the wound. Someone wearing white gloves peeled off several wounds on Lin Cheng's body. In every wound, there is a small eyeball hidden. Su Heng did not have a panic disorder, but looking at the dense wounds on Lin Cheng's body, he remembered that every wound opened up and inside was filled with eyeballs he couldn't help but shiver, what terrifying means is this. So. Do you think that a high school martial artist who only connects the six meridians can have this kind of means to kill Lin Cheng? Su Heng said, his face couldn't help but show a sneer, his gaze fixed on the middle-aged man. Even if you want to frame a crime, is this too forceful? Bang! Su Heng, I don't have that much patience to hear you talk nonsense. The middle-aged man slammed the table with a look of disgust and sternness on his face. Now is the opportunity for us to take the initiative to explain to your accomplices. Otherwise, when we find out the person, we will definitely deal with you severely. Colleagues. Su Heng opened his mouth. Good guy, it turns out he was trying to frame me for using such a strange method to kill Lin Cheng with his accomplice. Dong Dong. At this moment, the door of the interrogation room was knocked on, and a tall short-haired woman pushed the door in. A woman's facial features are very delicate, her skin is fair, and her beautiful temperament exudes competence. The most I dot catching are the two slender and beautiful legs wrapped in tight pants, which have a powerful beauty. Anyone who looks at them would sigh, it's a pity not to step on three wheels. Zhou Team The middle-aged man suddenly stood up and shouted, with a look of awe on his face. The woman nodded faintly and walked in, casually tossing two items packaged in transparent plastic bags onto the table. I found out, it's indeed a lost item in Lin Cheng's room, 
she said Su Hang's face immediately changed when he saw the contents of the transparent bag. Su Hang, what else do you have to say? The middle-aged man looked at Su Hang. Impossible, this is clearly a legacy of my old house, how could it be from lynching? Su Hang immediately shouted. Two transparent bags, one of which contained an old newspaper, which was exactly the one Lao Su had read in his dream this morning, with obvious thick dust on top. The other transparent bag contained those coins, which were originally hidden under the newspaper. This morning, when he was pulling the newspaper, they fell out of the table. Zhou Tim, we've given him a chance, but he doesn't cooperate, the middle-aged man frowned, showing a hint of impatience on his face. Well, let's follow the process first, the woman nodded. Okay. The middle-aged man immediately turned around and left the interrogation room. Bang! With the heavy sound of the door closing, only the woman and Su Heng remained in the interrogation room. My name is Zhou Yanin, and I am the captain of the 2nd Brigade of the Darong City Branch of the Inspection Department. By the way, I am also a seasonal master. The short-haired woman had a faint smile on her face and looked at Su Heng. Su Heng couldn't help but glance at the other person when he heard the three words, seasonal master. Although seasonal masters are rare, they are not mysterious. Even ordinary people can occasionally see them on the streets and alleys. However, this woman can become the captain of the inspection team at a young age, and her seasonal abilities should not be simple. You just missed a chance to be honest and lenient, but I am willing to give you another chance, Zhou Yanin said again. I've been honest all along, I didn't even kill Lin Cheng, nor did I have any Sodot called accomplices. Su Heng said in a deep voice. So stubborn. Zhou Yanin still maintained a smile on her face and reached out to open the chair to sit down. Her slender and plump right leg curled up and lightly rested on her left leg. Her tight pants instantly became even tighter, outlining the curves of her thigh muscles. It seems that you are not very familiar with our inspection department's investigative ability. If there is no evidence, we will not bring you here. She spoke and picked up the two transparent bags. First of all, from when I entered the lynching room and found something lost, and used my seasonal ability to track the location of the item, to when the action team arrested you and searched for these two items from your home, there was a video recording of the entire process. Just now you said that this newspaper was left by your old house before. Oh, would you like to take a look at the date on it? She smiled and lifted the transparent bag containing the old newspaper in front of Su Heng. At the header position of the newspaper, the date is clearly written. January 4th, 273 in the Northern New Calendar. Su Hung was momentarily stunned. This date is clearly yesterday's newspaper. End of this chapter. Do you really read Chapter 3? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Do you really read Chapter 3? And these three coins? To be precise, they are commemorative coins. Zhou Yanin lifted the second transparent bag. Inside, there are three old coins that look rusty, but are printed with the words, 272 years of the Northern New Calendar, and there is also a portrait of a military leader carved on them. Su Heng recognized these three commemorative coins. Last year, the Martial Arts Association held a city-wide martial arts competition for middle school students, and Lin Cheng won first place in the second group of high school, receiving three commemorative coins. I don't understand why you made this newspaper and commemorative coin old, but we can still easily find that there are fingerprints and breath traces of Lin Ching on it, and the breath is still very new. It can be basically determined that it is something lost in Lin Cheng's room. So you shouldn't have said earlier that this was left by your family before, this statement is very foolish. You should say that this was given to you by Lin Cheng, but there is no evidence to prove it, right? But unfortunately, this statement doesn't hold true either. With your relationship with Lin Cheng, he can't possibly give you anything Zhou Yanin said this and had already opened a file. According to our investigation, you and Lin Cheng had multiple fights and brawls during their school years. 
Before last year's martial arts competition, Lin Ching injured you with someone, which prevented you from participating in the competition. Otherwise, you would have won the first place in the second year of high school. Combined with your injury and the rupture of two meridians, which still cannot be restored, you have basically cut off the path of martial arts. Such a great hatred is enough to become a motive for killing, right the smile on Zhou Yanan's face had disappeared, and her gaze was fixed on Su Heng, as if she had already understood everything. However, Su Heng didn't even listen to the other party's lengthy speech, and his heart had long been in a state of chaos. At first, the first reaction was that the inspection department deliberately fabricated evidence to frame him. But looking back at Zhou Yanan's words just now, there were video recordings of their entire investigation and evidence search process. Although the recording may also be fraudulent. But. Why is it so coincidental? Is it the newspaper that Lao Su read in his dream and the coin he pulled out? Su Heng suddenly had a chilly thought in his heart, what if the inspection company hadn't cheated? Why did the newspaper that was only printed and published yesterday, as well as the three commemorative coins produced last year, appear in my old house? Is this a setup from the killer? Is it pretty? At this moment, the short-haired woman's cold voice interrupted Su Heng's thoughts. What? Su Heng regained his senses and looked at the other person with some confusion. Zhou Yanan's cold expression suddenly faded from her face, revealing a playful smile. Little brother, I'm talking to you about a case, but you're staring at my legs and getting distracted. What are you thinking? Dot. Su Heng's mouth twitched. How dare this woman think that someone as handsome as me would look at your legs? It's okay, if you want to see it, feel free to take a bold look. After all, if you don't see it now, you probably won't have to see it in the future. Zhou Yanan lightly tapped the table with her fingertips and said with a smile, although you refuse to say anything, just these two pieces of evidence, combined with motivation, are enough to convict you of accomplice. Bang! Suddenly, Zhou Yanan slammed the table and sternly rebuked, Let me show you, are you really looking? Do you still want to touch it? Female Bodhisattva Su Heng's eyes widened in disbelief, but he looked down at his hands handcuffed to the chair, ha. Huh? He slowly lifted his head and sneered disdainfully, Sister, don't think so much. I just noticed that your leather pants don't seem to be breathable, and couldn't help but think of a physics question. May I ask if your leather pants bulge when you fart? How many do they usually bulge? I. Zhou Yanan instantly opened her mouth wide, stunned for a few seconds, and then her fair and smooth forehead seemed to have bulging veins. I really can't kill you today. Bang! As Zhou Yanan stood up and was about to grab Su Heng, the door to the interrogation room was suddenly pushed open. Several members of the inspection team rushed in with anxious faces and quickly grabbed her. Team Zhou, calm down. This kid's senior sister is Fu Yongqing, you can't use lynching in violation of regulations. Those martial arts factions led by Du Guowu seek revenge and take advantage of this opportunity to enforce the law with violence. Let's not wade into this muddy water. Let go. Zhou Yanan shouted coldly, lifted her hand and shook off the tugs of several people, but she didn't continue to be impulsive. Her beautiful eyes glared angrily at Su Heng, since you don't cherish the opportunity to confess, then don't regret it. It's useless for you to call anyone here. With the current evidence, I can convict you of conspiracy. Wait. Su Heng suddenly spoke up. What else do you want to say? Zhou Yanan said coldly. Physics no longer exists. Ba no, I have evidence to prove my innocence. Su Heng looked at Zhou Yanan and was about to get angry again, quickly returning to the matter. Evidence. Several people present looked at Su Heng one after another. Yes, there is absolutely evidence to prove my innocence, but I can only say it when my senior sister comes, Su Heng nodded. Not long after, Su Heng was taken out of the interrogation room. Zhou Yanan wrapped her hands around her chest and looked thoughtfully at Su Heng's back. 
The middle-aged man walked in from the door and frowned, Zhou Tim, is this kid trying to delay time? If there is evidence, he won't bring it out and will only say it when his senior sister arrives. Didn't you see that? He just didn't trust us, Zhou Yanan shook her head lightly. Just now when I entered and you opened the door and went out, he must have seen our office area across the corridor, so he deliberately angered me, lured more people in, and then started saying he had evidence. Why? The middle-aged man was taken aback. Why else? What did you do when you arrested him? Don't you know in your heart? Zhou Yanin's gaze coldly swept towards the middle-aged man. Zhou Tim, that kid is resisting arrest himself. We have the right to forcibly bring him back, it's not a violation. The middle-aged man's eyes slightly avoided. Zhou Yanin sneered and said, Oh, you go tell his senior sister this kind of thing, will she believe it? Although the evidence can be traced to his home on site, and you have also found the evidence, do you really believe that he is related to this case? Zhou Tim, do you think he is innocent? The middle-aged man frowned. What I think is not important, what's important is that you work under my command and engage in factional disputes. Don't blame me for not having anything to say to you first. When Zhou Yanin said this, her cold eyes scanned the middle-aged man again and said calmly, if he really proves his innocence and his senior sister wants to settle accounts with you, I won't take action to help you. At the same time, Su Hang has been taken to the detention room in the inspection department for solitary confinement. He does have evidence to prove his innocence. Previously, in order to verify the dreams he encountered in the old house, he installed cameras in both the living room and the room. But when we talked to Zhou Yanin just now, the other party never mentioned the camera from beginning to end, which is quite unusual. Although those cameras were installed in a somewhat concealed manner, since the inspection company went to search the house and rummaged through boxes and cabinets, there was no reason not to see those cameras, and as long as they followed the line, it was easy to find the monitoring host. The memory card in the host must have saved the surveillance footage from last night to today, which can prove that he has been at home and may even see who put the newspaper and commemorative coins into it. Why didn't Zhou Yanin mention it? Is it deliberately not saying it for the purpose of framing, or is it really not knowing that there is a camera? Or They found the monitoring host, but there was no memory card inside. Fortunately, I was clever enough to hide an additional micro-monitoring host, and the wiring was also concealed. Su Hang is very confident that the hidden micro-monitoring host cannot be discovered by anyone. Next, just wait for the senior sister to come back and ask her to take out another memory card. Not only can you clear the suspicion, but you may also see who is behind the scenes. Even this troublemaker may be related to the case of Lao Su back then. Xiao Haizi is about to reveal his chicken feet. Su Hang sat quietly in the single room, with a smile on his lips. Subsequently, he slowly closed his eyes, his thoughts twitched, and his consciousness instantly turned into his own sea of consciousness. In the sea of consciousness, a fist-sized black mist was hanging in the center, emitting waves of chilly energy, slowly surging towards the small pointed corner at the top of the black mist. It's indeed the little cold festival. Su Hang has truly determined the season he awakened at this moment. After all, today is Xiao Han festival, and there is also knowledge about seasonal totems in school textbooks, so he won't admit his mistake. However, how to cultivate this thing? Su Hang has a headache. Although there are also seasonal classes in the school, all of them are located in the southern campus, and only students who awaken to the season are eligible to enter. Previously, he had been practicing martial arts, and his activities at school were limited to the North Campus. Although their courses also included some knowledge of seasonal festivals, they were mostly common knowledge and did not involve the cultivation methods of seasonal masters. He doesn't even know much about the corresponding abilities of the twelve zodiac signs, and most of them are hearsay, after all, those are courses belonging to the university government. So although I am very eager to practice the seasonal ability and try the rumored seasonal ability at this moment, I don't want to try it randomly until I know the cultivation method. 
Forget it, let's talk about it when senior sister arrives. Su Heng felt a little disillusioned and withdrew from his inner vision state. However, thinking that he would soon see his senior sister, the figure of that woman couldn't help but appear in his mind. Senior sister Fu Yongqing became a disciple of Su Hans Han when she was six years old, and Su Heng happened to be born that year. It can be said that Fu Yongqing watched him grow up. In Su Heng's impression, Fu Yongqing is very beautiful, from childhood to adulthood, quite grand. But she is also a woman with an extremely cold personality. As far as Su Heng remembers, he seems to have never seen her smile, as if he is indifferent to everything, giving people a feeling of being detached from everything. In ancient times, this may be called not eating human fireworks. But she just likes to manage Su Heng. At home, Su Heng is a mischievous dog, old Su is a dog father, mother is a loving mother, and Fu Yongqing is a stick. The stick under which the filial son comes out. So Su Heng is not afraid of anyone, except for being afraid in front of Fu Yongqing. When he was young, he was always naughty. Fu Yongqing looked at him and Su Heng was as calm as a virgin. So at this moment, Su Heng's heart began to feel a bit flustered. Fu Yongqing, that terrible old woman is coming back. Wipe, the more you think, the more scared you become. Everyone has recommended tickets and monthly tickets, remember to vote for them. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Invincible Warriors You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Invincible Warriors The next day, before dawn, Su Heng was awakened. The person from the inspection department informed him that Fu Yongqing had arrived. Su Heng was somewhat surprised. Yesterday noon, Tang Ho was punched. With his physique, he could recover for about ten minutes and would definitely notify his senior sister as soon as possible. But my senior sister is currently serving as a mentor in the Tian Si University mansion. Tian Si University Mansion is the top seasonal university in Scorpio Island, located in the central area of Scorpio Island. It takes at least two to three days to come to Darong City. How could you come so quickly? Without much thought, Su Heng quickly arrived outside an office led by a man. The decoration of the office is very exquisite. As soon as I enter, there is a reception area with carpets and a set of high-dot-end sofas and coffee tables. There are only two women in the reception area, each sitting on two single sofas on either side of the main sofa. One of them is Zhou Yanin. Another woman had long hair that was over her shoulders, wearing a white shirt on her upper body, and a black long coat draped over the armrest of the chair beside her. Su Heng stood at the door, and from this angle, he happened to see the sides of the two people. From the tight shirt buttons on the chest of the woman with long hair, it can be seen that Zhou Yanin has lost a mess in terms of body curves. With Su Heng's arrival, both of them also turned their faces around at the same time. Zhou Yanin lost again. With Zhou Yanin's figure and appearance, she can be called a beauty anywhere, and she is also a high-scoring beauty with extraordinary beauty. But next to the woman with long hair, Zhou Yanin instantly became an ordinary beauty. After all, that delicate and fair face with a cold temperament would amaze anyone who looked at it. Except for Su Heng, because he is very familiar with this face. Senior sister, Su Heng called out politely with a calm tone, making himself appear gentle and refined. In fact, he hasn't seen Fu Yongqing for two years. Since Fu Yongqing graduated from Tianxi University two years ago and stayed as a mentor, she has become even busier. Occasionally, she only calls back to inquire about Su Heng's martial arts practice. So Su Heng has been very happy in the past two years. For 16-year-old teenagers, how can they not be happy when they are free and unrestrained? But now, from the slightly pursed lips and lightly furrowed eyebrows of the senior sister, it is not difficult to see that his happiness is likely to be lost. This time I was inexplicably framed and sent to the inspection department. What about next time? With Fu Yongqing's personality, he may not continue to be left alone in Darong City. 
Come here. Fu Yongqing spoke lightly, with a soft voice and an unquestionable aura of an imperial sister. Su Heng immediately walked towards the main sofa between the two, with only half of his butt resting on the sofa, his back straight and sitting in a very standard posture. This made Zhou Yanan next to her raise her eyebrows involuntarily. Yesterday in the interrogation room, this kid's sitting posture was as carefree as possible. If it weren't for his hands being handcuffed to the armrests of the chair, he would probably have been able to lie down on the ground. What are you installing here now? You don't have a very good complexion. Fu Yongqing spoke again, his clear and plain gaze fixed on Su Heng. It's okay, is the college entrance examination approaching? I accidentally stayed up all night reading last night. Su Heng smiled and shook his head. Zhou Yanan immediately widened her eyes, and then narrowed them slightly again, looking at Su Heng with a smile on her face. Reading Do you have the face to say that you are reading a book when your calls come to the lounge in the middle of the night? Su Heng, do you snore while reading? Zhou Yanan smiled. What? Su Heng immediately turned his head and stared at Zhou Yanan, then suddenly stood up from the sofa, his hands trembling like cramps, pointing towards Zhou Yanan. Senior sister, don't listen to her nonsense. She's slandering me, she's slandering me. All right, stop fooling around and sit down. Fu Yongqing's face was expressionless, and she remained calm from beginning to end, even in the same tone. Su Heng, however, was very accustomed to it and immediately licked his smiling face before sitting back. Senior sister, I thought you could only arrive tomorrow at least. Why did you come so early? I just came back to handle something. Fu Yongqing responded briefly, her gaze softened slightly, and she looked at the back of Su Heng's head, do you still have a headache? Su Heng was taken aback for a moment, then realized that it was Tang Ho who told his senior sister about yesterday's beating. It's okay, the other party is just deceiving the small, deceiving, and sneaking attacks. If my realm is comparable to him, it will definitely be him who falls down, Su Heng said, his gaze specifically glancing at Zhou Yanan. It was the middle-aged man who knocked him unconscious yesterday. The other party is under Zhou Yanan's command, so it is impossible to seek revenge. Where is the person? Fu Yongqing looked at Zhou Yanan. Zhou Yanan's face slightly froze and she said in a deep voice, before the matter was thoroughly investigated, you wanted to take action at the inspection department. I'm afraid it's not reasonable, right? I've read Du Guowu's law enforcement records. Whether it's violent law enforcement or a legal arrest depends on whether Su Heng is innocent. Do you understand what I mean? I understand, Fu Yongqing nodded slowly. Zhou Yanan finally breathed a sigh of relief. But Su Heng's eyelids twitched, just wanting to say that you were too happy too early. The meaning of senior sister's words is, I understand, but I still have to deal with people. As expected. The next second, Fu Yongqing raised her palm, which was as white as jade, with clear textures and a faint glow. Fu Yongqing, stop. Zhou Yanan's face changed and she spoke up to stop. However, before she could finish speaking, a white halo leaped out of Fu Yongqing's palm. The halo was circular, only the size of a ring, but rippled like water outside her palm, rapidly expanding. Roar. There was a faint sound of thunder in the air, as if a fierce beast was roaring low. Immediately, with a swoosh, a white beast shadow suddenly emerged from the halo and snatched the door away. Du Guowu. Fu Yongqing casually recited a name, his cold eyes like a black mandala blooming. Outside the door, there were bursts of noise and various screams of surprise. Not for a while. Bang. The door of the temporary interrogation room was knocked open, and a burly figure was caught in the mouth of the white beast, fiercely thrown in. Dot. Su Heng's mouth twitched slightly. This move is too familiar. When he was young and reckless, pretending to be coerced outside, he was caught by his senior sister like this before. 
This move is also the iconic foundational ability of the Jingxia Seasonal Master. The white light ferocious beast did not materialize and looked very blurry, unable to recognize what kind of ferocious beast it was, but seemed quite intelligent. After it threw down Du Guowu, a pair of copper bell-sized eyes suddenly looked at Su Hang. Curiously, it glanced at him and quickly turned into a white light, grazing into the halo, which quickly faded away. Fu Yongqing, you really don't take me seriously, do you? You should follow the rules when doing things. As I said, you can find someone to settle accounts and seek revenge, provided that you prove Su Hang's innocence first. The inspection department is not a place where you can do whatever you want. At this moment, Zhou Yanan's face was full of iron blue and she angrily rebuked. She didn't care about Du Guowu's fate, but rather Fu Yongqing's attitude angered her. However, Fu Yongqing remained expressionless and sat calmly on the chair, ignoring her. A cold sweat broke out on Su Heng's forehead. Senior sister truly deserves to be Lao Su's proudest student, let alone other things. Meng Fu is a character that has been learned from the blue, and she never considers the consequences of doing things. In other words, she is confident that she can bear all the consequences. The key is that today's matter seems to be something she can really afford. But now, Su Hing doesn't want his senior sister to get into trouble because of him. The inspection department is not a simple department. Senior sister. He immediately spoke up, trying to dissuade Fu Yongqing. But at this moment, Du Guowu, who was lying on the ground, regained his composure and suddenly roared, Fu Yongqing, a warrior cannot be humiliated. How dare you, the shame of a warrior, insult me. As soon as these words were spoken, the indoor air instantly dropped to freezing point. Fu Yongqing, who was apprenticed by Su Hans Han at a young age, showed a demonic level of martial arts talent. At the age of twelve, he opened up the eight extraordinary meridians and reached the peak of a first-level martial artist, which alarmed the Martial Arts Association. Countless martial arts masters came to the door to recruit disciples. But also in that year, she awakened to the Jingxia festival, gave up martial arts, changed the festival, and made countless warriors vomit blood in anger. A twelve-year-old martial artist with eight meridians, this kind of talent has never appeared since ancient times, but he went to practice the festival. The key is. Her talent in seasonal aspects is also equally demonic. This has made some extreme warriors even more angry, believing that Fu Yongqing's abandonment of martial arts, his admiration for seasonal orders and his flattery towards the outside world, cutting off the possibility of exploring a higher level of martial arts, is a shame for warriors. It is obvious that Du Guowu is also such an extreme warrior. Their faction has been targeting Fu Yongqing, and along with the arrest of Su Hang, they have also used some means to legally take compulsory measures. At this moment, Fu Yongqing's expression was calm, as if it was none of her business. On the contrary, Zhou Yanan's expression stiffened. Bang! Su Hang, who was still trying to dissuade him, rushed to Du Guowu and suddenly lifted his foot, kicking him hard in the face. Did I give you face? Su Hang's face was gloomy and he sternly rebuked. He didn't leave any room for effort in this kick, even to the extreme, and directly kicked Du Guowu, a second-level warrior, causing his head to spin and his face to splatter with blood. Senior sister has the right to make her own choices. Back then, even Lao Su raised her hands in favor, but it was up to you ugly monsters to oppose. It's okay to oppose it. It's been many years since this happened, and now you're still cursing me. It's really shameless. I can endure the beating for a while, but I can't tolerate scolding my senior sister. Thinking of this, Su Heng kicked Du Guowu's face hard again. Bang! This time, Du Guowu sprayed a large mouthful of blood directly from his mouth, mixed with several teeth. Su Heng, have you had enough? Zhou Yanan shouted in a low voice, her face looking a bit ugly. Originally, Fu Yongqing used his seasonal ability to capture Du Guowu from the inspection department, but the reason was still on the side of the inspection department. 
But now, due to Du Guowu's words, this reason needs to be offset. Who is Fu Yongqing? Once the top seasonal genius of the Tianxi University mansion, now even a top dot level mentor, it's your turn to curse in front of just a second level warrior. Mang Fu is brainless Zhou Yanan felt a wave of heart fatigue. Not enough. However, at this moment, Su Heng added, those two kicks were for my senior sister just now, and now there is still one kick for myself. After speaking, Su Heng suddenly kicked Du Guowu in the chest. Bang! Accompanied by a crisp sound of bone fracture, Du Guowu completely fainted. You! Zhou Yanan immediately glared angrily at Su Heng. Don't stare at me, I'm already very generous. I didn't settle Tang Ho's beating with him. Su Heng said, then squatted down and pulled up Du Guowu's clothes, wiped the blood stains on his shoes, and muttered, returning to martial arts, are you good at fighting? You know how to fight for a fart. If you come out and mix, you need to have power and background. Zhou Yanan's eyes twitched slightly, as if suppressing her anger. When Su Heng stood up, she slowly took a deep breath and sat back on the sofa. What else can I do if I've already beaten everything? Don't waste time, let's talk about your so dot called evidence. She stared at Su Heng expressionlessly, you better really prove your innocence. Dot. Su Heng lowered his head and glanced at Du Guowu, who was unconscious. It's really miserable. They don't even want to call for someone to lift you back for treatment. He didn't say much, walked towards the main sofa and sat back in his previous position, still only sitting on half of his buttocks, upright and elegant, without any hint of the domineering and ruthless look he had just shown. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 my senior sister hasn't hit me for two years. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 My senior sister hasn't hit me for two years, you said you had seen the law enforcement records before, so you should also know that I have installed a camera at home, right? Su Heng looked at Zhou Yanan and asked absent mindedly. Seemingly absent. Minded, in reality, his gaze fell on the other person's thigh but his attention was entirely on Zhou Yanan's expression. This is an original creation by Su Heng, also known as the technique of concealing true inner thoughts through double appearances. It is a very advanced observation technique that cannot be practiced with long legs for decades. But Zhou Yanan's reaction was normal, she nodded lightly and said, not bad, we did find the camera and monitoring host, but the host is empty and there is no memory card installed. She has frowned. At first, she didn't really pay attention to these surveillance devices, and it was normal to have worthless idle appliances in old houses where no one lived. But now that Su Heng mentioned it, it indicates that it is abnormal. You're so smart, you must have guessed it. That's right, there was originally a memory card inside, and the camera was also running normally. Su Heng grinned. So are you asking us to find the lost memory card? Zhou Yanan shook her head secretly after asking. If Su Heng is telling the truth, since the other party has taken the memory card, they will probably choose to destroy it and it will be difficult to find it again. No. Su Heng smiled at Fu Yongqing and said, Senior sister, could you lend me your phone? Fu Yongqing didn't ask much and handed the phone directly to Su Heng. Su Heng avoided Zhou Yanan's gaze and typed on his phone, writing down the location of the hidden monitoring host, and then handed it back to Fu Yongqing. Fu Yongqing only glanced, then frowned and stared at Su Heng. Cough, senior sister, go and go back quickly, Su Heng sneered. The micro-surveillance host was hidden by him in the corner of the wall outside his neighbor's house. This means he secretly dug a hole under someone else's house, and even stole their power, leaving only a hidden line to connect to the camera. Fu Yongqing remained silent and gave Su Heng a meaningful glance before getting up and preparing to go. Just as she stood up, the perfectly curved buttocks were right in front of Su Heng, right within reach. The two plump buttocks fully support the beige straight leg suit without any wrinkles, and the tall legs still appear slender and straight in the slightly loose pants. 
terrifying. Su Heng's expression froze in place, watching as Fu Yongqing left. He was not impressed by his senior sister's figure, he had already grown tired of it. It was purely because I understood the meaning of the senior sister's last gaze, which clearly meant to settle the accounts after autumn, commonly known as, I will deal with you later. Damn it, it's all Du Guowu's fault. If it weren't for him scolding my senior sister, maybe she would let me go for the sake of not seeing me for two years. Su Heng immediately looked at Du Guowu, who was still lying on the ground, with an unkind expression in his eyes. What are you doing again? Zhou Yanin's eyelids couldn't help but jump when she saw his small movements. At present, there was no need to worry about where Fu Yongqing would go to collect evidence, so he called for someone to enter the office and carried Du Guowu away. Otherwise, if Su Heng really beats her, she won't be able to explain it. Zhou Ting, do you know my senior sister? Su Heng had completely sat on the sofa, his hands resting on the backrest, legs crossed, and his face was indescribably arrogant and comfortable. Not familiar. Zhou Yanin didn't even glance at Su Heng and coldly responded, obviously not wanting to talk to him. Su Heng raised his eyebrows and said, that means you know each other. So, you also graduated from Tianxi University. Dot. Zhou Yanin simply didn't speak and leaned directly onto the sofa, closing her eyes to rest her mind. Seeing her like this, Su Heng stopped saying anything and closed his eyes to rest. The sky is still not bright, the inspection department is very quiet, and the office is even quieter. In a moment, Fu Yongqing returned. Su Heng breathed a sigh of relief when he saw that she had an instrument wrapped in waterproof cloth in her hand. Is the memory card still there? Zhou Yanin sat up with a serious expression on her face. Mmm. Fu Yongqing nodded lightly and raised her other hand, holding a memory card between her slender fingers. Senior sister, give it to me. I want to see which little black guy is framing me. Su Heng immediately ran forward, now curious about who put the newspaper and commemorative coins into the old house. After inserting the memory card into the phone, the video files inside were successfully opened. Zhou Yanin and Fu Yongqing also approached. The monitoring records only retain the content from the last 14 days. Su Heng opened the monitoring screen from the day before yesterday and selected to play at a multiple speed. Starting from the day before yesterday, the old house was calm and motionless. Su Heng also noticed the dining table in the restaurant, which displayed very clearly. There was only thick dust on the table, and there was no newspaper. Until around 7 p.m. the day before yesterday, the door of the house was opened by someone, and it was Su Heng who returned from school. From the screen, it can be seen that Su Heng seemed to close his eyes slightly. After entering the door, he naturally pressed the light switch and made a move to change his slippers before walking into the room. Then he casually threw off his backpack and walked towards the restaurant, feeling his stomach. Seeing this, Fu Yongqing frowned lightly and looked at Su Heng. Did you dream again that day? she asked. Su Heng mentioned the dream to her, but she couldn't figure out what was going on with Su Heng. Everyone said it was a kind of hysteria, sleepwalking. Well, I dreamt of Lao Su, but the most interesting thing was that I dreamt of him reading a newspaper and taking out three coins for me to buy food. When I woke up, I found that there was really a newspaper on the dining table with three commemorative coins hidden underneath. Su Heng pointed to the position of the dining table. Fu Yongqing and Zhou Yanin both turned their heads and looked over. The table was empty and empty. At this moment, Su Heng in the picture had already sat in front of the dining table and stopped moving. The picture seems to be stuck in a grid. But the time that the video was still moving rapidly, as well as the slight chest undulation during Su Heng's breathing, proved that the surveillance footage was normal. Su Heng sat on the chair like this, leaning against the back of the chair, squinting his eyes, until yesterday noon. Shua. Suddenly, eerie scene appeared in the video footage. A newspaper suddenly appeared on the dining table without any warning, just out of thin air. 
What? Su Heng suddenly exclaimed in surprise. He kept waiting, just wanting to see who put the newspaper in, never expecting it to appear out of thin air. Go back and take a look, Zhou Yanan frowned. Su Heng quickly replayed the video and slowed down the playback speed. However, the result did not change, and the newspaper suddenly appeared, and when it appeared, it was covered in dust. Following closely behind Su Heng in the picture, he slowly got up, picked up his backpack and walked towards the door to change his shoes. Then, as if hearing something, he opened the door and Tang Ho entered. Subsequently, Su Heng had already been awakened and knew what had happened. What is this? What is the situation? Su Heng looked surprised. Does this count as pollution during the Qingming festival? Did it hit ghosts? Zhou Yanan shook her head and looked at Fu Yongqing with a serious expression. Xiao Han, the seasonal master. From the video, it seems that the opponent has exceeded at least five seconds, at least a third level or higher. Fu Yongqing remained silent and nodded. What, was this done by Xiao Han Jishishi? Xiao Han Jishishi still has the ability. Is it throwing objects through the air or moving in an instant? Su Heng's heart skipped a beat and he quickly asked. This ability is amazing. The key is. I also awakened during the little cold festival. However, neither Fu Yongqing nor Zhou Yanan paid attention to him. After the two exchanged a glance, Zhou Yanan said, send me the video and save the memory card yourself. I'll take the person away first, Fu Yongqing said lightly. Zhou Yanan hesitated for a moment before nodding and agreeing, sure, but he cannot leave Darong City until we verify whether the video has undergone special treatment. Mmm. Fu Yongqing looked at Su Heng and said, let's go home. Su Heng was shocked, can we go home now? Senior sister, this face is really great. However he took a serious look at Fu Yongqing's stunningly cold and expressionless face. Well, suddenly I don't want to go home. The inspection department seems to be doing well too. In the end, the two still left the inspection department. Su Heng felt a bit impatient and wanted to inform his senior sister about his awakening to the Little Cold Festival. But looking at Fu Yongqing, who was already walking alone ahead without realizing it, she still didn't rush to say it. He knows his senior sister well. From childhood to adulthood, if she walks forward and leaves him behind without realizing it, it means she has something on her mind and is thinking about something. She is always so focused in everything she does and doesn't like to be disturbed. Of course, if the person disturbing her is Su Heng, then it doesn't matter. After all, when Su Heng was a child, he would run up and shout, Senior sister, I want it, when he saw anything delicious or fun on the street. And now, Su Heng has grown up. He silently followed Fu Yongqing, walking in the direction of the old house one after another. At this moment, the sky gradually brightens. Just rows of tall black chimneys in the distance, emitting black smoke, making the sky look a bit gray. On the street, countless disorderly electrical wires run through the houses, tangled together in dense billboards. All the houses looked dirty, messy, and dilapidated, with various types of garbage piled up on some rusty iron roofs. Perhaps it was still too early, and there were hardly any pedestrians on the street, appearing somewhat desolate and desolate. Even the morning breeze blowing in front of them seemed even cooler than usual. Is it cold? At this moment, Fu Yongqing's voice suddenly came from beside her. Su Heng just regained his composure. Senior sister didn't know when she had already walked alongside him. Xiao Han Festival has just passed, you should wear more clothes, Fu Yongqing said calmly, draped the black coat in her hand over Su Heng, and tidied up his collar. The cool breeze, which originally had a slight chill, has been completely isolated by this warmth. In a faint moment, Su Heng could still smell a faint fragrance emanating from his senior sister's coat. Senior sister, I'm not cold. Su Heng smiled and was about to take off his clothes and drape them over his senior sister, only to find her looking at him with a hint of curiosity. 
This is a rare occurrence, it's rare to see the senior sister show any expression. Senior sister, what's wrong? Su Hang asked. You've grown taller. Fu Yongqin lifted her beautiful eyes and looked at Su Hang's head, her tone still calm and gentle. Oh, really? I remember two years ago when I just reached your shoulder, and now it seems like I'm taller than you. Su Hang also realized that he had indeed grown a lot in the past two years. Senior sister is 1.7 meters tall, he is at least 1.76.3 meters tall, and he is still growing and will be taller in the future. Not bad, let's go home. Fu Yongqing raised her hand, rubbed Su Hang's head, squinted her eyes, nodded in satisfaction, and then turned around to continue walking forward. Su Hang was stunned for a moment, then couldn't help but shake his head and smile. Senior sister, she still treats me like a child. He looked ahead and quickly chased after him. Senior sister, I want it. Su Hengda shouted, pointing to a breakfast shop in front of the street. Fu Yongqin looked at him, then at the shop, paused for a moment, and then gently raised the corner of her mouth. Senior sister smiled. I don't need to be scolded after I go home. I originally planned to delete the second half of the emotional drama because it slowed down the pace, but I actually really like this part, so I decided not to delete it. I will send another chapter later to make up for everyone. During the new book period, both reading and recommendation voting are important. If you want to keep a book, please click in and vote every day. Thank you, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 I Became You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 6 I became the distance from the inspection office to the old house is not too far. The two of them had a simple breakfast and slowly took a walk back to the old house. My home was searched by the inspector yesterday, and now it is in a mess. Tables and chairs are scattered everywhere, and many cabinets and drawers have been pulled out, some of which have fallen to the ground. The people from the inspection department are too extreme, they just left like this, Su Heng muttered, cursing. However, Fu Yongqin didn't say anything and had already stepped forward, ready to tidy up the things on the ground. Senior sister, don't be busy for now. I have something to tell you, Su Heng said immediately. Hmm. Fu Yongqin just turned around and looked at Su Heng. I woke up to the season of Xiao Han yesterday. Su Heng pretended to be calm and secretly felt happy. Although it may be a bit late to awaken to the seasons at this age, at least I am also a seasonal master. In the future, my identity and status will be completely different, and I hope to intervene in the investigation of Lao Su's case. However, Fu Yongqin opened her mouth slightly upon hearing the words, feeling somewhat surprised. Then, she frowned and her face gradually became serious. Do you want to be a little cold seasoner? she asked hesitantly. Yes, I didn't have a choice before, but now that I've awakened, why don't I take advantage of the situation and change the holiday schedule? Su Heng exclaimed in shock. He broke two meridians, basically declaring that the path of martial arts has come to an end. Now that the season has awakened, it should be a joyful thing, but why did senior sister react in this way? Su Heng was puzzled and said, senior sister, don't you want me to become a seasonal master? Fu Yongqin gently shook her head and said, if it were another season, it would be a good choice for you, but the little cold festival is not very good. What? Su Heng was taken aback. Is the Xiao Han festival not very good? It shouldn't be. I just checked the surveillance footage at the inspection office. No matter how the other party brought things in, Relying solely on this method is not easy. Do you know the seasonal characteristics of the Xiao Han Festival? Fu Yongqing asked. I don't know, the school doesn't teach. Su Heng shook his head directly and added, but after I woke up, I could feel the chill emanating from the Xiao Han Festival. That's right. Fu Yongqing nodded and said, 
The coldness of Xiao Han is a yin evil that mainly attracts and coagulates, and can easily damage the yang qi, qi, and blood, meridians, and five internal organs. Therefore, most Xiao Han seasonal commanders are weak and sickly, and often suffer from the torment of cold qi, ultimately leading to a tendency to kill. Ah! Su Heng suddenly became confused and said, Senior sister, I can still understand what you said earlier, but why is it related to bloodthirsty behavior later on? Because. Fu Yongqing was about to answer. Suddenly, the phone in her pocket rang. Fu Yongqing glanced, frowned slightly, and answered the phone. After a few breaths, her face changed slightly and she said, When did it happen? Okay, I happen to be in Darong City, you can go and take a look. Senior sister, what's wrong? Su Heng saw her hang up the phone and quickly asked. It's nothing, a little trouble. I need to go out and deal with it. Fu Yongqing gently shook her head, and her expression had returned to calm. After a moment of contemplation, he took out his phone and clicked a few more times. I have sent some introductions about the seasonal aspects to your mobile phone, which contains a small portion of related cultivation methods. If you really decide to change the holiday schedule, you can try building qi first. In the initial stage, it won't cause permanent damage to you. If you feel unbearable, stop immediately, and wait for me to come back tonight to discuss other matters after speaking, Fu Yongqing turned around and left. Su Heng opened his mouth to ask, but in the blink of an eye, his senior sister had disappeared from the door without a trace. He could only shake his head helplessly, take out his phone, and plug in the charger. After finally restoring the battery of the phone and successfully turning it on, I received many message prompts, several of which were from Tang Ho, inquiring about his situation. Su Heng quickly replied with a message informing him that he had undergone modifications inside and had already come out. Then I opened a document passed over by my senior sister, which contained an introduction to the seasonal regulations and not much content. It could only be considered as some basic information. However, it is also enough to give Su Heng a relatively general understanding of the seasonal master. The so dot called festival originated from the twelve festivals and months, each corresponding to a certain festival, hence there are twelve different festivals. Of course, there are also a few separate comments inside, which may have been written by the senior sister herself. Some cult organizations believe that there were originally 24 solar terms in the world, divided into 12 solar terms and 12 chi. They feel that the 12 zodiac signs practiced by all current zodiac masters are incomplete, and call on people not to enjoy the present, but to break through their comfort zone and seek the forgotten 12 chi. But ultimately faced tremendous resistance, defined as heresy, it is still being suppressed and targeted. 12 sections, 12 chi, 24 solar terms. There used to be such a saying, but at most, it's just a different concept. How could it be considered a cult organization? Su Heng felt a bit puzzled when he saw this. But there was no extension on this matter above, so Su Heng had to continue reading. The following is a basic introduction to seasonal ability. 12 seasons, each with its own empowerment. The beginning of spring, beginning of summer, beginning of autumn, and beginning of winter are known as the four major festivals. The Li Chun seasonal master, known as the leader of the four great festivals, is skilled in treating various injuries and illnesses, as the willows turn green and the grass grows and the birds fly. It is said that their treatment does not pay attention to the rules and methods, and any wound can be healed instantly with just a touch. Su Heng agrees with this description. The meridian he had previously broken was one that his senior sister had brought over to help him treat during the spring festival. Unfortunately, his recovery had been restored, and as he practiced, it broke again. Even the spring festival master was surprised by this and exclaimed, It's impossible, absolutely impossible. Most of the other holidays were swept by Su Heng. He didn't sit up straight and watch carefully until he saw Xiao Han, the seasonal master. During the Xiao Han festival, one possesses some abilities suitable for lurking and assassinating. 
So the Shaohan seasonal master is basically responsible for doing dirty work. In ancient times, he was called an assassin, but now he is called a killer. This season, the small cold solar term absorbed, has extremely strong destructive power. But as senior sister said, the Shaohan solar term also harms oneself. The further one cultivates, the greater the damage and torment they suffer. Moreover, the tasks performed by the Little Cold Festival Commander are often dangerous beheading and assassination missions. They have long been immersed in the high mental pressure before the assassination, as well as the excitement and joy after the successful assassination. The constant transition of two extreme emotions and the constant suffering caused by the invasion of cold air can inevitably lead to killing and seeking excitement in order to reduce pain. So, most people, after awakening this season, simply abandon it and practice martial arts directly. Only some desperate individuals who seek wealth and fortune in peril, after awakening to this season, will seize the opportunity to become a little cold seasonal master. Xiao Han, the seasonal master, has a penchant for killing. At this moment, Su Heng understood the meaning of senior sister's words just now, and his enthusiasm, filled with anticipation from the beginning, gradually cooled down. The little cold festival doesn't seem very good. I am such a handsome person, kind and innocent, how could I awaken such an evil season? Damn it, it's all Du Guowu's fault. If it weren't for him knocking me unconscious, perhaps the Beidou in my mind wouldn't have been triggered, causing me to awaken during the little cold festival. Can't you wait until the day of the beginning of spring to hit me again? But now that we have awakened, why not give it a try? Just give it a try. Su Heng gritted his teeth and looked at the cultivation methods mentioned in the document. In the early stage of seasonal cultivation, the main focus is on building qi. As long as enough solar terms are included to surround the seasonal totems in the sea of consciousness, the characteristics of solar terms can be used to stimulate abilities. This is a bit like the internal force in martial arts, as long as the internal force is strong enough, it can be used to break out of the body and cause damage. However, the ability of Shaohan Festival is very special, with two characteristics. Destruction, and, Concealment. When the solar term condenses, it can transform into a highly destructive force. When the solar term spreads throughout the body, one can enter a state of invisibility. Invisible. Su Heng understood at this moment. The little winter strategist who placed newspapers and commemorative coins in the old house must have used this ability. Moreover, from the surveillance footage, it can be seen that this ability is not only for self-concealment, but also for the concealment of newspapers and commemorative coins. This ability is too demonic, but it seems a bit short. Su Heng took a look at the introduction and realized that the amount of solar terms consumed for invisibility is enormous. Therefore, during the qi building phase, the highest record for a Shaohan seasonal master is two seconds of invisibility. Forget it, give it a try first before we talk. He casually found an open space, sat down cross-legged, and began to try. The method of seasonal cultivation is not difficult, and there is no specific method to speak of. It can be achieved solely based on one's own perception. According to records, the air itself contains various turbulent solar terms. A seasonal master can feel the solar terms in the air based on their breath, find the corresponding solar term to their own season, and then absorb it into their body. Over time, this will become a technique to form a breathing system based on the frequency of the solar terms. This unique breathing technique is not suitable for inheritance. Everyone's physique is different, and the number of solar terms contained in different regions is also different. Different numbers lead to inconsistent frequencies. Only the experience accumulated by oneself can have adaptability and be able to freely adjust breathing methods to adapt to different solar terms in different regions. So this also involves talent. Su Heng has always had little confidence in his talent, even though he was once called a martial arts genius by everyone. However, compared to his senior sister, his title as a martial arts genius is immediately worthless. Moreover, 
his so dot called martial arts talent is still due to the rapid progress of the Beidou in his mind. Sigh. In no time, Su Heng opened his eyes and sighed helplessly. Breathing hundreds of times, I didn't feel any hint of the cold season. Sure enough, as an ordinary person, I am still suitable for taking the civil service exam and becoming a tactical commander. Su Heng shook his head and muttered to himself. What kind of martial arts master, what kind of seasonal master, what is the use of fighting and killing? When I return as the top scorer in the literary examination, I will report to the tactics academy. If it were other seasons, he might not easily give up. The key to cultivating this thing is to persist. But considering the drawbacks of being a Shaohan seasonal master, Su Heng simply gave up the idea of becoming a seasonal master. Or that sentence, it's useless to hit someone. I have a senior sister covering me up, who am I afraid of? Thinking of this, Su Heng clapped his hands, took a deep breath, and prepared to get up. Buzz. Suddenly, a metallic tremor sounded in my mind. As he took a deep breath, in a daze, his consciousness seemed to see the Big Dipper again. It is emitting light, and seven celestial bodies are twinkling with radiance. Su Heng suddenly widened his eyes. He saw the air appear colorful, with many colors intertwined and intertwined, flowing haphazardly in the air. The little cold festival totem in the sea of consciousness, the black mist, seemed to have a response and began to surge. So, in the air. Wisps of black and gray cold air, like small black snakes, emerged from the colorful patches and flowed directly into Su Heng's mouth and nose with his breath. Su Heng suppressed the shock in his heart and quickly closed his eyes, feeling the entire process in detail. The sunlight outside began to fall in, and the sun rose three times. Su Heng's phone rang several times, but he ignored it and remained immersed in the state of cultivation. Soon, night fell and the sky gradually darkened. The black and gray chill that surged from all directions became increasingly intense. Su Heng's tightly closed eyelids trembled slightly, feeling the gradual formation of cold black energy in his body, constantly converging towards the black mist in the sea of consciousness. He was overjoyed in his heart and said, Ha ha ha, it's done. Henji, I'm done. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Strange You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Strange, Su Heng, why are you sitting on the ground foolishly laughing? Dad, this is amazing news. I have become a seasonal master. A tidy room with bright lights. Su Heng got up from the ground and boasted about his cultivation achievements towards Su Hans Han in the kitchen. My own efforts have not been in vain. With the small assistance of the Beidou, not only have I successfully built Qi, but I have also greatly improved my realm. The first stage of a seasonal master is called building Qi. At this stage, it is necessary to absorb a sufficient number of solar terms to enable the festival totem to exert its abilities. As long as it absorbs ten solar terms and surrounds the entire totem, the first stage is considered complete and can enter the second stage. In theory, this is a very long accumulation process. But Su Heng only used half of the day to absorb six small cold solar terms, surrounding the black mist. According to division, accumulating one solar term can be called building a layer of qi. At this moment, he has accumulated six solar terms and has reached the sixth level of building qi. Sure enough, I am quite talented in terms of seasons, Su Heng exclaimed. Do you have seasonal talent? Laugh to death. Su Hans Han rolled his eyes and walked towards the restaurant with a freshly cooked dish. What words, what words this is. Su Heng was displeased on the spot and gave Su Hans Han a glare before continuing, Okay, I admit that the spoon did provide me with a little help, but aside from the facts, shouldn't I have worked hard? I don't have the time to be in poverty with you. Hurry up and help bring the vegetables, Su Hans Han scolded with a smile. Oh, today's food is so abundant. Did you celebrate it specifically for me? Su Heng walked up and was surprised. 
Tonight's dishes are more abundant than ever before, almost filling the entire dining table with a variety of colors, flavors, and flavors. If you insist on thinking this way, then I can't do anything about it, Su Hans Han shrugged. Su Hang. Dot. This is for your senior sister. It's rare for her to come back, so she definitely needs to cook something she likes. Su Hans Han smiled, his face full of joy, like an old father whose daughter is about to return home from a long trip. That's okay, senior sister likes to eat, which happens to be what I like. Su Hang nodded. You have a big heart, young man. If your senior sister comes back later and sees you become a Shao Han seasonal master, do you think she will punish you? Su Hans Han still squinted his eyes, his expression somewhat gloating. Su Hang's mouth twitched and he wanted to ask who was his biological child. He remembers that from childhood to adulthood, old Su had never been cruel to him, but every time he saw Fu Yong Ching scolding him, old Su not only gloated but also stirred up trouble nearby. Damn it, merciless. Old Su, you're going to be disappointed this time. To be honest, my senior sister gave me the method of practicing the festival, and she asked me to try it. Su Hang's face was full of shivers. However, Su Hans Han shook his head repeatedly and said, Your child's mind is really not bright. Your senior sister never thought you could succeed. She just didn't want you to feel like you were being controlled and bound, so she gave you the cultivation method and let you try it yourself before choosing to retreat. Ah! Su Hang was immediately stunned. Lao Su's words made him a bit confused. Is it really fake? Senior sister's original intention was to make me understand difficulties and retreat. All right, don't think about it. Since we have already become seasonal masters, let's try our best and take responsibility for the path we choose. Su Hans Han patted his shoulder and said solemnly. Old Su, I am awakened during the Shao Han festival. Are you not afraid that I will become addicted to killing in the future? Su Hang asked curiously. He wants to know Lao Su's opinion on this festival. Is it okay to be addicted to killing? Just remember, if you dare to be addicted to killing, I will let your senior sister break your leg. Su Hans Han raised his eyebrows and said with a smile. Ha, huh, don't worry, I won't become that kind of person. Su Hang quickly waved his hand. You don't know. So you ran out and killed your classmate in the middle of the night the day before yesterday? Su Hans Han asked coldly. What? Su Hang stood still on the spot, confused and completely unable to understand Su Han Shan's words. Old Su, what are you talking about? When did I kill my classmate? Stinky kid, you're still pretending to be confused with me. How dare you say that Lin Cheng wasn't killed by you? Su Hans Han glanced diagonally at Su Hang and said, Are you still installing it? Didn't you install a camera at home? I've watched all the surveillance videos. Are you still talking tough, kid? Take. A camera. Su Hang's face was full of confusion, and his head gradually felt bloated. Vaguely, he seemed to remember something. The familiar dizziness, spinning around, and a strong sense of nausea swept over the whole body. In the next moment, a white light flashed through my mind. Su Heng suddenly opened his eyes and completely regained consciousness. It is already late at night. The room was pitch black, and the dining table was empty. Lao Su is still not here. Coming again. It's only been a day now, why did you enter that strange dream again? Su Hang rubbed his head a bit tired and took out his phone to take a look. There were several unread messages and missed calls. Looking at the time again, it's already 11 p.m. Why hasn't senior sister come back yet? Su Hang frowned slightly and looked out the window. The night was dark and gloomy, and the street was empty and eerie. He tried to call his senior sister, but was prompted that the other party had turned off the phone. Su Hang shook his head, but the dizziness still made him feel a bit uncomfortable. Everything from the dream just now is still vividly remembered, incredibly clear. 
This dream seems more bizarre than ever before. The two most bizarre things made Su Hun think back and feel a bit amused. He told Lao Su in his dream that he had built six levels of qi, which was strange, but it was indeed true. He has really built up six levels of qi, recognizing the six small cold solar terms in the sea, and is rotating around the totem of the small cold season. I guess I can't explain this to my senior sister clearly. Another thing is even more bizarre, Lao Su actually claimed that he killed Lin Cheng, which is outrageous. Moreover, Lao Su finally said that he saw something in the surveillance video, which directly woke him up from his dream. Wait, surveillance video. Su Heng's eyelids suddenly twitched and his gaze swept towards the living room, looking at the messy cabinet on the floor. His eyes had already adapted to the darkness, and he could clearly see the monitoring host pressed under the cabinet. When the inspectors searched, it was clear that they had also checked this host and there was nothing inside. I don't know. Su Heng suddenly had a chilling guess in his heart. He slowly walked forward, crouched down, and picked up the surveillance console. Next second. With a crisp sound, the entire monitoring host fell to the ground again. Su Heng widened his eyes and looked incredulous. There is actually a memory card in this monitoring host. Su Heng suddenly felt a tingling sensation on his scalp, and a chill rushed down his spine towards the back of his head. He immediately stood up and looked around cautiously. Did the little Han seasonal master who infiltrated the house before come again? What does that guy want to do? Why did you send the memory card back again? Just a moment later, the room remained silent and motionless. Su Heng gradually relaxed his tense body, squatted down slowly, and quickly pulled out the memory card and stuffed it into his phone. He quickly opened the video file, which also saved the surveillance videos from the previous 14 days. The date, time and number of videos are exactly the same as the memory card in the previous hidden monitoring host. Su Heng clicked on the video from the day before the incident, which was still playing at a faster speed. The video content is no different from what was previously seen. He returned home that day, made a shoe-changing gesture, put down his backpack, and walked towards the restaurant to sit down. Strange, why did they send the card back? Su Heng frowned suspiciously and moved his finger, preparing to turn off the video. But the next second, his fingers froze and he didn't press down for a long time. His eyes suddenly widened and his pupils contracted sharply. In the video footage, he was supposed to sit at the dining table until dawn when he suddenly stood up, walked slowly towards the door, put on his shoes, and went out. After dawn, the door was opened again. He has returned in the picture. He looked at the newspaper while playing with a few commemorative coins in his hand. As he walked past the dining table, he casually threw the commemorative coins and the newspaper onto the table, and then sat back in the chair as for the follow dot up of the video, just like before, when he got up and prepared to go out with his backpack, Tang Ho arrived. How could this be possible? Su Heng's face was full of shock, and he was stunned in place. The matter suddenly exceeded his imagination. No, it's definitely not me. This video is fake, Su Heng quickly realized. The video that previously proved his innocence has been sent to Zhou Yanan, and the inspection department will check the authenticity of the video. As long as it is confirmed that the video has not been processed, then the one on hand must be fake. But in case no, there's nothing unexpected. Su Heng took out the memory card, stuffed it into his pocket, and leaned against the sofa, exhaling a long breath. Framing me. Come on, come on, let me see if you have any more tricks. Su Heng's face gradually darkened. He slowly spread out his palm, and his consciousness began to activate the little cold festival in the sea. According to the document previously sent by Fu Yongqing, after absorbing the solar terms, they will be assimilated by the seasonal totem, forming an innate part of his body. Using these solar terms is like using one's own hands and feet with great ease. Whoosh! A faint black light bounced out of Su Heng's palm and quickly dimmed. 
In the sea of consciousness, the six small cold solar terms begin to surge and spread towards the meridians throughout the body. All meridians gradually weaken, along with the blood, flesh, and bones around them, quickly entering a transparent and faded state. The entire process was completed in less than one breath. Su Heng disappeared completely in place. The snow covers thousands of miles, and there is no trace of the path. This is the unique hidden characteristic of the Little Cold Festival, known as No Trace. Quickly, one second has passed. Two seconds. Three seconds schwa. Su Heng suddenly appeared, holding onto the sofa and panting heavily, feeling as if he was exhausted and exhausted. However, his face was filled with a smile. Three seconds, I persisted for three seconds. He secretly rejoiced in his heart, which was even more than the highest record of invisibility in the Jianqi realm mentioned in the senior sister's document. This without a trace ability is truly magical. I can see myself clearly with the naked eye, but I can't see anything through the mirror. Su Heng clenched his fist, feeling that the solar terms in his body were gradually recovering, and a sense of pride arose in his heart. He felt that he could take another break and do it again. I am indeed a real man. You can even try other postures later, another destructive feature of the Shaohan festival. Ding Lingling. Ling. At this moment, the phone suddenly rang. Su Heng struggled to take out his phone. The number displayed above is an unfamiliar number. Who called me in the middle of the night? He was stunned for a moment, then suddenly thought of the memory card he had just received. His face changed slightly and he quickly pressed the answer button. However, a familiar voice came from the phone, which turned out to be Zhou Yanin. Su Heng, are you still in your old house? Come out immediately. Hurry up, run towards the direction of the inspection department. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Blue Warning You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Blue Warning on the phone, Zhou Yanin's cold voice sounded a bit anxious. I could still vaguely hear waves of wind howling, as if I was on my way. Zhou Team, are you? Su Hengang opened his mouth to inquire. Don't talk nonsense. If you don't want to die, run out quickly. What have you been doing all day? Didn't you see the solar term pollution warning issued by the city? Zhou Yanin interrupted Su Heng's words and angrily scolded over the phone. Upon hearing this, Su Heng's face instantly changed. Damn it, is there a solar term pollution outbreak in Darong City today? He exclaimed in surprise unable to rest and rushed out the door. No wonder I always felt something was wrong just now. Although the old house is in an old neighborhood, it's not as quiet outside at night. It's possible that there was seasonal pollution, so everyone slipped out. Hurry up, remember to run towards the inspection company. I'm on my way to pick you up, you. Zhou Yanin's urging voice came over the phone again. Just before he could finish speaking, the communication suddenly disconnected, leaving only a rush of busy sounds. Su Heng couldn't help but stare. Good guy, isn't that woman getting cold? But. How could she risk running to pick me up? Su Heng suddenly raised a concern, but his speed did not decrease. He rushed out of the door and headed straight towards the direction of the inspection company. Not afraid of 10,000, only afraid of the unexpected. If it is really seasonal pollution, then oh no, why am I panicking? I have already built six floors of gas, do I still need to panic? Just one solar term pollution. Hmm blue warning. My mom. Su Heng suddenly accelerated his pace. He just took a moment to glance at his phone. In the evening, the Municipal Supervision and Administration Bureau issued a solar term pollution warning but the key was that they issued a blue warning. Solar term pollution is a common weather phenomenon, similar to hail and storms. When the various turbulent solar terms in the air remain balanced, everything is in good condition. 
But if one of the solar terms suddenly increases dramatically and reaches a critical point, large dot scale solar term pollution will erupt, and the disasters caused by pollution will also vary depending on the type of solar term. For example, in Darong City, the most common cause is pollution during the Qingming Festival, which usually erupts every few years. Su Heng had never personally experienced it, after all, he received a warning every time and ran away early. After the relevant departments dealt with the pollution, the city returned to calm. But he has also heard some rumors. Some people who have survived pollution say that during the Qingming Festival pollution, they saw an old man from a neighbor's house who had passed away for many years come back and knock on the door. Some people say they have seen several women dressed in retro attire, resembling Chong Sam from the previous era, waving at him on the roadside and asking, Sir, would you like to come and play? Some people say they have heard the streets filled with roars of war and fierce fighting on the battlefield. Some even claim to have seen the rumored Hundred Ghosts night walk. The pollution experienced by these people during the Qingming festival is mostly a white warning, which belongs to the lowest level of warning level. It is said that if a second level warrior or above encounters it, most of them can turn bad luck into good. But now, the sky monitoring department has issued a blue warning, which is one level higher than the white warning. I dare not underestimate this. It is said that the person who claimed to have seen a hundred ghosts walking at night experienced a blue warning level of pollution during the Qingming festival more than a decade ago. Why have you been so unlucky lately? First, I was framed, and today, while I was practicing, I fell into a dream and received a blue warning about the pollution caused by the Qingming festival. Su Hing felt somewhat helpless as he ran and dialed his senior sister's phone number, but still indicated that the other party had turned off the device. There won't be any accidents, will there? He suddenly felt a little uneasy in his heart. With my senior sister's personality, if I knew about the outbreak of seasonal pollution in the city, I would definitely let go of everything and come to pick him up and leave at all costs to feel at ease. But now there is no news from senior sister, Instead Zhou Yanin said she will come to pick him up. Is it senior sister who asked her to come? Su Heng boldly guessed and called Zhou Yanin back, but there was still only a busy tone. Hmm. At this moment, Su Heng suddenly slowed down his pace. He has run three streets in a row, just take a turn at the intersection ahead and cross two and a half streets to reach the inspection office. But now, the intersection in front of me is shrouded in a white mist. The mist is very thick, hazy and hazy, like a flood slowly surging in a slow-motion camera. In a daze, Su Heng caught a glimpse of a blurry figure walking in the white mist. His face immediately changed slightly and he stopped walking. The blurry figure in the white mist suddenly stopped. Su Heng Wei squinted his eyes. Through the white mist, one gradually saw the figure of the person, who seemed to be a man, but was wearing a blue long shirt, a hairpin on the head, and tied his hair at the top, dressed like a traditional costume. I don't know, did I really hit a ghost? Su Heng felt his teeth getting sore from biting hard at some point. Although he couldn't see the other person's face clearly, Su Heng still clearly felt that the ancient costume person was staring at him. Ding Ling Ling Suddenly, the piercing ringtone of the phone broke the silence. Su Heng was startled and quickly took out his phone, his gaze still fixed on the figure ahead. After blindly pressing the answer button, hold the phone directly to your ear. Hiss. Hiss, hiss, hiss. The noisy current noise coming from the phone seems to indicate that the signal has been affected. But soon, Zhou Yanin's anxious shouts came one after another. Hello, Su Heng. Listen. Are you there? Don't run towards the prosecutor's office, change direction, run towards, do you hear me? Hey. Doodle doodle doodle. The phone instantly turned back into a busy tone. Su Heng's mouth twitched slightly, very good. Listening to your words is like listening to your words. What's wrong with this broken signal? Unfortunately, it's missing key directional information. Ha! Huh. Su Heng suddenly felt a wave of shock. 
He noticed that the person in ancient costume ahead seemed to be retreating backwards, his figure gradually becoming more blurred and almost disappearing into the white mist. No, he didn't move, it was the mist coming over. Su Heng reacted and immediately wanted to step back. He could see that these white fogs were very unusual, as if they contained a strong Qingming solar term, but also gave people a dangerous intuition of a cold spine, making them afraid to approach. Shua. At this moment, the ancient costume man rushed forward and suddenly started running towards him in place. Very good, you're so brave. After waiting for you for half a day, you really dare to come and die. Su Heng let out a loud shout. I was not scared this time, but the other party's action was actually expected. From the moment he saw the ancient costume person, Su Heng had already rehearsed countless times in his mind the scene of the other person suddenly rushing towards him. Of course, with harsh words on his lips, Su Heng's body still turned around and ran away obediently. He runs, he chases, he can't fly with his wings crossed. What is the situation? Su Heng had just turned around and took a step, but suddenly stopped and stared ahead with wide eyes. Where is my way? What about the long and wide road when I first arrived? Su Heng was completely dumbfounded. In front of me was a rudimentary street paved with bluestone slabs, with a thin layer of white mist ahead, empty and empty. The streets were damp, with faint moonlight falling from the sky, shattering into starry spots amidst the water stains. On both sides of the road, there are numerous shops and shops, with grey bricks and green tiles faintly visible. The eaves of the buildings are like rows of ancient style buildings. On the signboards of shops not far away, there were signs of tea houses, taverns, pawn shops, workshops, etc. Um. Where is this? Su Hing felt like his head was about to crash, and suddenly turned around to look behind him. Fortunately, it's not a small street in an ancient town, it's still the familiar street near my old house. However, as white mist surged in, the familiar streets were gradually being swallowed up at a visible speed to the naked eye. That ancient costume person, surprisingly, had already rushed to the edge of the white mist and came straight towards Su Hang. What are you doing, oh? Su Hang's face was full of bitterness, and now there was really no way to escape. It was difficult to fly with wings inserted. He turned his head again to look at the ancient town street behind him, and roughly guessed that this was the change brought about by the white mist. When the white mist from the people in ancient costumes surges over and merges with this place, the entire neighborhood will change. So, we can only run. Su Hang immediately made a decision and started his body again, running on the road of direct travel. Although this road has become incredibly unfamiliar, at least no one and no strangeness. Squeak. However, Su Hengtsai ran into this small street and a sudden sound of a wooden door pushing open broke the silence of the night. No trace. Without any hesitation, Su Heng raised his hand and padded forward while running. The black light in the palm of the hand shone brilliantly in the night, flashing away in a flash. Su Heng realized that the small cold solar term in the sea had once again spread throughout his body, and his whole body was running, gradually fading away and disappearing without a trace in the blink of an eye. Only three seconds. Su Heng appeared several meters away, with his back against a low wall and a wooden cart filled with straw as a cover in front of him. He tried to slow down his breathing, his gaze vigilantly scanning towards the place where the sound had just been made. Don't look, don't worry. At this glance, a chill instantly rushed down your spine and straight to the back of your head. The door of a household on the right side of the street is completely open, and a figure is hanging on the beam of the door. The lanterns on both sides of the door have also been lit up at some point. Although they are white lantern paper, they emit a blood-red glow. In the midst of light and shadow, every detail appears. Su Heng saw clearly the figure hanging on the beam of the door, which was an old woman with messy white hair, dressed in a plain blue coarse cloth dress, her eyes wide open, staring fixedly at her feet. At this moment, an inexplicable cold wind blew by, 
and the old woman's body slowly turned with the wind. Her eyes, full of resentment and resentment, happened to stare straight at Su Hang. Hiss. Su Hang took a cold breath on the spot, his scalp tingling. Exciting, too exciting. He dared not lower his head, but his fingers hidden beneath him were frantically tapping on his phone, sending messages to his senior sister. Senior sister, please help me, please help me, please help me. When? Suddenly, a crisp and deafening gong sounded. Su Hung was startled again. Just before he could react, the houses on both sides of the street, which were supposed to be pitch black, suddenly lit up with candlelight. Squeak. 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 In a series of knocking sounds, the wooden doors of each room opened. People wearing ancient costumes and long hair were walking out with a joyful expression on their faces. Congratulations. On the day of the Situ family's great celebration, we are here to congratulate you. There is an old man in the family, and if there is a treasure, it dies well. The Situ family has added another door god, which is commendable and congratulatory. Congratulations to the Situ family. Many neighbors, of all ages and genders, walked out of the door to congratulate the Situ mansion where the old woman's body was located. In the Situ mansion, the master's family slowly walked out with a few people, tears streaming down their faces, but with a stiff and festive smile on their faces. They ignored the old woman hanging on the door beam, bowed and thanked the people, warmly welcoming guests into the mansion. The journey ahead is far away, and I almost arrived late. Master Situ, please forgive me. At this moment, another person walked into the Situ mansion from afar, coming late and smiling apologetically. It was the person in ancient costume that Su Hung had just seen. Obviously, with the arrival of that person, it also means that this block has been completely shrouded in white mist. Su Hang hid in a corner, witnessing the entire eerie scene. His expression had already stiffened, but he felt a bit like cursing in his heart. Especially for the ancient costume person just now. You ran so fast, you thought it was coming at me, but you were afraid of being late for the banquet. Su Hang twitched his stiff cheeks and then lowered his head to look at his phone. Great, it's already shut down. The tiger-like blind fight for help message I was going to send to my senior sister just now was all in vain. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Are you crazy? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Are you crazy? I've heard before that in areas polluted by solar terms, any electronic device will lose its function. It seems true, no wonder I've never seen any videos related to solar term pollution. Su Hang slowly recalled and realized that his phone had been deactivated since he stepped onto this street. Senior sister's phone is also turned off, is she also here? He suddenly rejoiced, it was very likely, otherwise senior sister wouldn't have come to pick him up. However, upon looking at this white foggy street, people occasionally emerged from the fog and rushed to the Situ family to have a feast. Su Hang dared not act rashly. It's not easy to find my senior sister here, as I'm not familiar with the place. If I'm not careful enough to be discovered by those strange people, I'm afraid I'll be scared before my senior sister comes over. He could feel that although the aura on those people in ancient costumes was very dangerous, if they were to fight one dot on point one, he would have, no trace, to launch a surprise attack and perhaps he could still pass it. But in the current situation of the Situ family, once I appear, there will definitely be no chance of one dot on point one confrontation, there are too many ghosts. As the saying goes, a gentleman should not stand under a dangerous wall, not to mention the Situ family, and not even stay near here for too long. Zhou Yanan should be able to guess that I am trapped here. As long as I am careful enough and wait quietly for the relevant departments to solve this solar term pollution, I will definitely be able to go out. After thinking for a moment, Su Hang decided to find a safe place to hide and wait for rescue. He looked around and saw that the white mist at both ends of the street was not as intense as before. He decisively crawled out of the corner, and the cat rolled forward with a thud, then kicked its feet with a light and upward movement. 
With a whoosh, he smoothly climbed over the wall of a household and jumped into the courtyard. The whole movement was smooth and smooth, with no sound of feet landing, and the person stood firm in the small courtyard. Ha! Huh. Su Heng slowly breathed a sigh of relief, fortunately his martial arts foundation was solid enough not to attract those eerie attention. There shouldn't be anyone in this household right now. Just now, he saw the whole family dragging their families into the Situ family's house. Before they finished their meal and returned, this place should be relatively safe. Su Heng briefly surveyed the courtyard, which was small and rudimentary. A piece of rag was spread on an open space, and it seemed to be drying something on it. It was black and hard to see what it was. A clothes rack is placed at the foot of the wall next to it, and there are also several pieces of clothing that have not been collected hanging on it. Su Hang's eyes suddenly lit up and he immediately walked forward. He judged a lot from his clothes. The family is really in a poor condition. The cloth is mostly coarse linen. The hostess likes to wear red and has a simple taste. The style and color of several belly pockets are the same. Well, no detergent is used. Su Hang immediately threw it away, then peeled off a gray long shirt from the clothes rack and put it directly on his clothes. Although it looks slightly bulky, it still fits quite well. But. How do we do with the shoes and hairstyle? Su Hang lowered his head to look at his white sneakers, and then his gaze swept towards the shabby house of this household. After pondering for a moment, he quietly walked forward and slowly pushed open the wooden door. Crunch. The old and dilapidated wooden door made a loud noise, but fortunately the volume was not loud and didn't seem to cause much noise. Su Hang wiped the cold sweat off his forehead and stepped into the house. There is a strong musty smell in the room, and the furniture is very old and dusty. The roof beam was still covered in spider silk, hanging down densely. Su Hing didn't pay much attention and walked in to start searching. In no time, a pair of black cloth shoes and a hand-woven straw hat were successfully found inside the room, perfectly solving the problem of disguise. Ha! Huh. Suddenly, Su Hang stopped in front of a wall. There is a bamboo forest painting in ink on the wall, and the signature and inscription are already blurry. There are also some black stains on the corners and edges. Su Hang couldn't help but be stunned. Even if his family was so poor and he hung a painting, what happened to the blackened fingerprint on the edge? Are you afraid that others won't know you often touch this painting? Good guy, there is no silver in this place. I don't take thieves seriously. Su Heng knew he was not a thief, but in order to enhance the family's awareness of prevention, he resolutely made a decision that violated his ancestral teachings. He opened the hanging painting and took down a wooden box hidden in a hole in the wall. There was originally a small lock at the wooden box, but it was already rusty and easily broke with a light finger. Su Heng walked cautiously to the side, revealing only one finger. He gently pulled the lid of the wooden box open a crack and confirmed that there were no dangerous mechanisms before completely opening the box. Just as soon as he opened it, he was dumbfounded. There was actually a slender incense stick inside the box, which he had seen in history books and was something people used to worship in the past. And beneath this incense stick, there is also a stack of old to slightly pale yellow paper pressed down. Is that all? Su Heng stared out of surprise. How could you hide this thing so carefully? Okay, actually I'm not that cautious either. Pop. Suddenly, there was a muffled sound. Who? Su Heng was startled and reached out to cover his back neck. He suddenly jumped forward and turned 180 degrees in the air, looking behind him. However, I didn't see anything. But just now, he clearly felt something knock on the back of his head, not too hard, but with a piercing chill that made his entire spine tingle. This place is not suitable for prolonged stay. Without hesitation, Su Heng stuffed the incense and yellow paper from the wooden box into his arms and quickly rushed towards the door. Since entering the courtyard of this household, he has had a vague feeling of discomfort, 
as if something is pressing against him and his chest is feeling a bit stuffy. I thought it was because I was too nervous, but now it seems that I have thought too simply. This place is too eerie. He ran quickly to the door, pulled open the wooden door, and was about to rush out. Whoosh! Suddenly, a black shadow fell from above the door, blocking the way. I, your mother! Su Heng exclaimed in surprise, reacted promptly, quickly stopped his figure, and suddenly retreated to widen the distance. Subsequently, the whole person froze in place. Above the door hung an old man, whose physical body appeared to be withered but not decayed. The two eyeballs were also intact, protruding from the exhausted skin, as if they were just hanging on the cheekbones, staring fixedly at Su Heng. With a gentle breeze blowing outside the door, the old man's body began to sway back and forth, his feet swinging so much that they almost kicked in front of Su Heng. Hiss. Su Heng suddenly took a cold breath. The feeling of being struck on the back of the head just now seems to be very similar to the cloth shoes on the old man's feet. The key is he lowered his head slightly and looked at the black cloth shoes on his feet. Classic same style. This is a shoe collision. What a collision. Meanwhile, amidst the ancient town shrouded in white mist. Several figures were passing through the street, entering a pitch black alley before stopping, panting heavily. The faces of several people were somewhat pale, with two women covered in bloodstains, and one man's entire palm was unbroken, with only a piece of white gauze wrapped around the cut. The gauze has already been dyed red, and blood is still dripping continuously. Zhou Team, the situation is not right. The person in charge of Tianjian underestimated the pollution level of this solar term. The man gritted his teeth and sweated profusely. This is definitely not just a blue warning level, it's probably close to a yellow warning. Damn it, how many solar term bombs did those members of cult organizations release? The other two injured women also spoke one after another, their eyebrows furrowed. Zhou Yanin's face was also pale at the moment. She was not responsible for cleaning up seasonal pollution, but in order to take Su Heng away, she led a small team to act alone. Unexpectedly, people did not receive it. Along the way, seasonal pollution suddenly expanded, trapping them inside. The most unlucky thing was that behind the white mist was a main street. When they came in, they happened to bump into a few people in ancient costumes, and both sides were on the verge of a big battle. The result turned out to be that they were defeated on their side, completely at a disadvantage. If it weren't for the man's sacrifice of one palm to repel those ancient costume men, they probably wouldn't have had a chance to escape here. Team Zhou, the mission may have to be suspended. The pollution level during the Qingming festival this time is too high for us to cope with. The junior brother Fu Yongqing is probably all ready. The man looked at Zhou Yanan and whispered. The other two women, although silent, also looked at Zhou Yanan one after another. They agree with the man's words, and according to the location where they just entered the polluted area, it happened to be the second block, which belongs to the peripheral area of the polluted area. The location of Su Heng's old house is very close to the center of the polluted area. Even if he escapes before the pollution completely erupts, he can only escape to the third block at most. That belongs to the border between the central area and the peripheral area. Their team's strength is not bad, at least they can protect themselves in blue-level polluted areas. But now it's just a strange encounter in the peripheral area, so difficult to deal with. How could Su Heng, a martial artist with six meridians, survive in the third block? After a moment of silence, Zhou Yanan said in a deep voice, This place is not far from the edge of the polluted area. Please stay here and rest until the rescue team arrives. What? The man and two women's faces changed at the words. Team Zhou. All right, stop talking. Zhou Yanan raised her hand and interrupted several people's dissuasion, saying expressionlessly, I also think that kid must have died, but there's nothing I can do. This is what I owe Fu Yongqing, at least to live and die. Your task ends here, 
and the next action is my personal behavior, which has nothing to do with you. After speaking, Zhou Yanan ignored the dissuasions of a few people and rushed out of the alley towards the direction of the third block. This direction also happens to be the direction that was originally heading towards Su Heng's old house. So as long as Su Heng doesn't run around, she will definitely meet Su Heng along this road to the third block, and of course, it may also be her body. Unfortunately, he's a pretty handsome younger brother. Although he has a bit of a yawn, at least he looks pleasing to the eye. If he really dies. Zhou Yanin shook her head with a solemn expression and a hint of regret in her eyes. She actually hopes that Su Heng is still alive, but feels that the possibility is unlikely. If that kid really dies, I don't know how Fu Yongqing and that woman would react. I'm afraid I'll search everywhere for those cult lunatics to kill, right? Hmm. Suddenly, Zhou Yanin noticed movement ahead and immediately stopped, flashing towards the corner of the street. After using cover to conceal oneself, the gaze swept towards the white mist ahead. After a burst of thick fog, a figure jumped out of a house's courtyard and landed steadily on the ground. Then, the figure looked around stealthily and ran towards another house next door with a cat-like body. Zhou Yanin widened her eyes on the spot, her face full of shock. She just saw clearly the figure's appearance, that handsome face. Who else could it be besides Su Heng? The point is, that kid actually carries the corpse of an old man on his body, but runs around like nothing happened. Are you crazy? End of this chapter Chapter 10 Door God You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Door God At this moment, Su Heng is somewhat distressed. He used his ability to be invisible before running out of the house of that household. But to my surprise, even in an invisible state, I would still be targeted by that old man's corpse and hang it directly on myself, unable to shake it off no matter how hard I tried. He tried to attack the old man with something, but it was like touching air, passing through the old man's body and completely unable to harm him. This is really a bit of a bug. Is there any natural reason why you can't escape invisibility and cannot hit it again? The key is that the old man is left with only a withered corpse, in a skin and bone state, but it is so heavy that it is terrifying. To be precise, it is getting heavier and heavier. Originally, Su Heng was able to carry him out of the courtyard and climb over the wall, but now he has run to the foot of another house's wall and is somewhat unable to run. The physical exertion was exaggerated, and I was already panting heavily. Grandpa, can you discuss that fairness is important in everything? You've been riding on me for so long, can I ride on you instead? Su Heng leaned against the wall and squatted down to rest, while looking up and shouting at the old man. However, the old man remained stiff and unresponsive, with only a pair of vicious eyes fixed on him. Su Heng shook his head, but his heart was not too flustered. He still has a seasonal ability that he hasn't tried yet. Only magic can defeat magic, so to deal with this kind of strange creature polluted by solar terms, it is necessary to use solar terms. In addition to the hidden characteristic of No Trace, Xiaohan Festival also has a destructive ability called Cold Pursuit. This ability requires condensing and compressing the small cold solar terms in the body to a certain extent, forming a sharp and strong destructive force. When building the Qi realm, using Cold Pursuit can easily tear down thick steel. This is also Su Hang's confidence at this moment. It's just because I just used without a trace and the solar term consumption was too high. So he's waiting now, waiting for the solar terms to recover. When the time comes, take it by surprise and thrust upwards to open the eyes of this old man. Hmm. At this moment, Su Heng suddenly widened his eyes, a bit incredulous. He unexpectedly saw Zhou Yanin, hiding in a nearby corner, waving wildly at him. Good guy, rescue has arrived. Su Heng's face was full of joy, and he quickly waved to Zhou Yanin in response. At the same time, he pointed to the old man above his head, gesturing for Zhou Yanin to come and help. 
However, Zhou Yanin looked at him with a deadly expression, spreading her hands and shrugging her shoulders, indicating that she was powerless. The smile on Su Heng's face froze instantly, almost wanting to rush up and pull her hair to ask her a few questions. But Zhou Yanin seemed to be teasing him. As soon as she finished saying she couldn't do anything, she was already running towards him with a cat-like body. Zhou team, help me, help me, help me. Shut up. Zhou Yanin glared at him with a serious expression. She frowned and glanced at the dead old man on his head before saying in a deep voice, Are you crazy? You dare to break into the haunted house too? No, I'm thinking there's no one inside. It's safer to hide inside. Who knew I would get into this trouble? Su Hang looked bitter. Zhou Yanin rolled her eyes directly, unwilling to speak, and once again looked at the old man's corpse. Su Hang also clearly felt that the old man was getting heavier and heavier, and he was almost unable to squat steadily. If he got any heavier, he could only sit on the ground. He quickly asked, Zhou, what's the arrangement now? Do you think he's hanging? What? Zhou Yanin stared blankly at Su Hang, her mind full of question marks. At this time, what are you still talking about? I mean, do you think he's amazing? Can he handle it? Su Hang asked again. Zhou Yanin finally regained her expression and shook her head, saying, It's hopeless. Let's wait until we die. What? What does it mean? Su Hang stared blankly. He could see that Zhou Yanin was not joking, including the actions she had just made towards him. It seemed that she was not teasing him, but was truly powerless. This thing is called the Gate God, and there are only three solar terms that can restrain it. Jingzhe, Lixia, and Xiaohan. Stop, I know what you want to say. Your senior sister has mentioned it to me, and you just woke up to the Xiaohan season yesterday, so why don't you speak up and bring shame to yourself? Zhou Yanin waved her hand directly and interrupted Su Hang, who was preparing to speak. What is the use of a newly awakened little cold festival? I'm sure I didn't even have time to build gas, so not to mention facing solar term pollution that exceeds the blue warning level, even the lowest level of white pollution cannot be solved, right? Actually. Su Hang spoke again, but hesitated. Senior sister actually revealed the fact that he just woke up during the holiday season yesterday. If she tells Zhou Yanin now that he has actually built six floors of gas, will she be sent to relevant departments for research? There's another way. Zhou Yanin didn't pay attention to what Su Hang wanted to say and spoke directly, the residents here can invite the door god to leave. Oh. Let's expand on it. Su Hang's eyes lit up and he remembered the old lady hanging at the door of Situ's house, as well as the people who went to congratulate him. It seems that the door god is a great joy for the eerie atmosphere here. I said you don't understand. Don't ask, just stay here and wait for me to come back. I'll find out if there's any strange feeling of being alone. Maybe I can catch one to help you take away this door god. After Zhou Yanin finished speaking, she turned around and prepared to leave, leaving only a silhouette for Su Hang. Zhou team, wait, I have a question, Su Hang quickly shouted. Zhou Yanin, in order to help him, actually had to walk alone in the dark alley to catch the eerie if something unexpected happens to this woman, wouldn't my guilt be too great? Can the Xiaohan festival, which builds six layers of qi, solve this door god? Su Hang asked tentatively. I can't handle it. Zhou Yanin responded without looking back and quickly left. She thought Su Hang wanted to say something touching, but ended up asking a thoughtless question. Little brother, you don't understand. How could you possibly solve this door god during the little cold festival, which builds six layers of qi? Unless combined with my mother's full of energy during the Shaoshu festival, ah, it seems that I raised it. Su Hang watched her leave and sighed to himself. I thought I could solve this door god, but I didn't expect that I really can't handle it. However, looking at Zhou Yanin's calm demeanor, I'm probably confident that she can deal with this kind of seasonal pollution, 
so there shouldn't be any danger. I forgot to ask her senior sister where she went just now. Forget it, I'll ask her again when she comes back. Su Heng leaned against the wall and sat directly on the ground. There's no way, the old man on his body is even heavier and he can't bear it anymore. Squeak. At this moment, a wooden door next to the wall suddenly heard movement. The sound of wood rubbing against each other appeared particularly piercing and eerie in the quiet and deserted night. Su Heng suddenly felt numb all over. Why is there still someone at home in this household? He turned his head and saw that the wooden door of this household had been completely pushed open. A thin and weak young man walked out of the door, his head stiff and slowly turning. A pair of slightly dull eyes met Su Heng directly. Su Heng gritted his teeth and tried to stand up from the ground, only to find that the old man on his head seemed to be heavier, and he suddenly pushed him back to the ground. Damn it! Su Heng cursed inwardly. The thin and frail young man at the door still stared blankly at Su Heng, then showed a hint of doubt. His gaze slowly moved up to look at the old man's corpse above his head. Su Heng was taken aback for a moment, then suddenly his eyes rolled and a warm smile appeared on his face, revealing a neat set of big white teeth. Hometown, do you want a doorkeeper or not? The manufacturer sells directly, and there are no intermediaries to make a price difference. Tears are shed to sell, first come, first served. The thin and weak young man's dull gaze was instantly drawn to Su Heng, and he stared at him for a while. Unconsciously, a runny nose slowly trickled out of his nose. Hiss. The thin and weak young man took a strong sniff and sucked back his snot. He quickly nodded and said, Yes, I want it. After speaking, he turned his head and ran into the room again. What? Su Hein was also dumbfounded for a moment, wasn't it? Is this okay? In just about ten seconds, the frail young man ran out of the room again, holding a few crumpled yellow papers and a small piece of almost burnt candle, and handed it to Su Hein. Sell it to me, you said, first come, first served, sell it to me quickly. The thin and weak young man's originally dull gaze was now full of excitement, even with some madness. Okay, okay, I know you're in a hurry, but don't worry for now. I agree to sell it to you, but you have to take it with you. We won't cover the installation, Su Heng said calmly, twitching his eyes. The thin and weak young man was overjoyed upon hearing this, and quickly stuffed several yellow papers and small candles into Su Heng's hand. Then, he hugged the dead body of the old man above his head, picked it up, and ran home. I have a door god at home, and I also have a door god at home. Finally, I can have a feast. Listening to the excited cries coming from the room, Su Hang's face was strange and he ran towards the direction where Zhou Yanan had left. Good guy, I'm just a good guy. What kind of broken door god, did I just get rid of it? Su Hang was surprised while running, and even felt a little stimulated. He looked at the crumpled yellow paper in his hand and seemed to understand that in this place, yellow paper should be money. Hmm. If that's the case, then I won't be tired anymore. He looked at the quiet houses on the street, his eyes gradually becoming strange, as if there was a beam of light, getting brighter and brighter. The fellow villager is not at home eating a banquet, and the lonely door god is guarding an empty room alone. Seeking recommended tickets, seeking monthly tickets. End of this chapter.